Uh, here's a quick test of my uh, noise source that I received from uh, eBay. I'm running it off a little 12 volt uh, power supply. What I like, it's not drawing a whole lot of current. And it's actually running very cool to the touch um, based on sort of the information that I've been getting on the net. But it's drawing just a little over 100 milliamps. And there it is. And I've got, uh, I think it's a 100 to 200 band pass filter that I got also for the same package and uh, it's going through my HP 8572 spectrum analyzer and uh, there's the uh, trace for the band pass filter I'm very happy with it because if you actually look at the dynamic range that I'm actually getting on this I mean it's like what it's I'm actually getting something like 50 60 dB dynamic range on this band pass filter so uh, I'll get a duplex uh, tomorrow or Monday and run it through, but I like this. Um, it's simple. Uh, it's actually better than the others I've actually seen. And I'd sort of recommend this uh, if you're going to be tuning uh, cavities and duplexes. And like I said, uh, this is a, a bandpass filter uh, that I bought. I'll actually put this bandpass filter on one of my other spectrum analyzers and I'll put it onto my uh, HP network analyzer to actually see what it does. But you know, it's very, it works well. And, uh, and look at that, I mean, it's steady trace and uh, this great dynamic range. Uh, you can actually tune the, uh, the center frequency and the stop frequency with ease, so which means you'll be able to set up very accurate type measurements uh, for your filters. I have a, a VSWR bridge it over here uh, that I also bought um, uh, the one that's in the case so I'll get to play with this maybe sometime tomorrow um, while I'm doing uh, my observatory uh, telescope imaging um, I'll take some time and actually play with this but it's these devices actually work very well very well but the biggest surprise is the dynamic range I mean look at that it's um, I think I've set to my amplitude, uh, it's set to 5 dB, so it's 10, 20, 30, it's like 50, 60 dB of dynamic range. You can do a whole lot with that, so very pleased. It works well and it's stable. Um, I like to do all the flatness uh, checks and tests uh, up to about 3 gig an hour, and I'll let you know what I'm finding on that in terms of the general output. But remember, the noise source... Uh, uh, if, if it's unflat, you know, you're not going to be doing filters or cavities from, say, DC to 3 gig all in one. You're going to be using spaces and, um, and uh, little areas of the frequency span. So um, once you've sort of normalized to an area, um, you should actually get results that look like... I'm very impressed. I think this is great. And I think I'm actually going to get myself uh, two, three more of these for all my guys on the bench, um, you know, as opposed to them having to be using all the network analyzers. This is great. Works very well and it's simple and draws very little current. Cheers.